somebody in our family had been painted by somebody famous. Um, but we never really knew um, who it was. Um, and we never, that is the family member, and we never really knew who the painter was. Um, it was, and I can't for the life of me recall how we all started to make um, the connections and how the jigsaw all started to come together. Um, I must have said something to my father at some stage and said, look, who was painted and who painted this person? And he must have actually said something to me. My, my mother um, must have said something along the line that led me, to, it led me along the, long, the right line of research. Because in the late 80s, I thought I'd try to find out just what actually happened and write an article about it for the Age newspaper in Melbourne. And by this stage, I had discovered that it was um, Great Aunt Catherine, whom I'd never met, who died the year I was born, um, and that the painter who had painted her was, in fact, Sidney Nolan. Um, but I didn't, that's about all I knew. And I went to the State Library um, in, in, in Melbourne, and for about two days, I think, I just went. And I was told, I must have been told, I can't recall any of this, but I must have been told that it was uh, around about 1946, and so I got the Herald, which was the paper, uh, the afternoon paper in Melbourne, and um, I got um, the microfilm, because they didn't actually have it, um, in fact, um, and worked through day by day from the beginning of 1946, um, hoping to actually come across this, this, this article that I'd heard about. And um, I, I think after about a day or so, um, I was just scrolling through, thinking, oh, this is a wild goose chase. And then, bang, suddenly, there she was. There was Aunt Catherine um, standing out front of her tent. And 